Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Reference Roundtable. Now, if you caught us last Thursday, I was here with Lacey and Sarah was not with us. And now we've switched Lacey for Sarah. Lacey's out on vacation, yes. but <laughs> she's definitely here in spirit because this is going to be another one of those episodes where we answer a bunch of questions. If you watch regularly, you may remember when Sarah left us a top secret envelope full of stuff to talk about. And this time, yes. our, this our from Lacey. top secret envelope is from <laughs> Lacey. And she dropped this off before she left town, and I have been dying to open it ever since. So that's why she left it with me. <laughs> yeah, she specifically gave it to Sarah because she didn't trust me, which is fair. <laughs> Um, and it's sealed with tape, so unless you put it on there, I didn't put tape it doesn't on look it. like anyone's ever opened it. I haven't touched this. it. I haven't touched it, so. Can but we, I'm excited. <laughs> can we open it? Open it. I think what we should do is ask every other question. Yeah, we can, yeah. We'll take turns. Okay. I'm a little nervous, but also excited. <laughs> we have no idea what these questions will be about. No idea. Feel free to answer along with us too, so that we can oh yeah, please make answer along in the comments. Yes. It's always fun when you all do that. Yeah, we, we love, love that. Yeah, seeing everybody else's <laughs> answers is half the fun for me. Exactly. Um, so. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> I will ask question number one. All right. What household chore do you hate doing the most? All of them. <laughs> so. Back in New York, when I had to haul my laundry three blocks to do my laundry, mm. I suddenly really hated laundry. Now that I have like a washer and dryer, I like doing laundry. It like really depends <laughs> on my environment. Yeah. Um, no dishwasher, hate washing dishes. Hate, mm. hate, hate, hate washing dishes. The food <laughs> touching my hands into the water, the way the water gets cold. And then just like, I'm kind of germaphobic, so using the same sponge to clean everything, I'm like, I just feel like I'm smearing everything around. <laughs> smearing the yeah, around. don't love that. Uh, As a child, it was probably dusting. I always felt like yeah. dusting was pointless. I was like, this is imaginary. As an adult, I'm like, no, you need to dust. <laughs> <laughs> so you said well, everything? Every, yeah, I can't. I don't like doing chores. <laughs> I mean, I don't like doing anything. I mean, I honestly don't mind vacuuming. I don't, I don't. I don't have a problem vacuuming. I don't have a problem um, vacuuming either. Weirdly, I also, I don't mind cleaning the bathroom. I don't clean the bathroom. My husband does. Uh, to be fair, my husband does a lot of the chores, so we're we're a good match, and nice. so I have to give him credit for that. <laughs> so, question number right. two. All right, we'll put this one. And Lacey did make them very pretty for us, Aww. so thanks, Lacey. That makes it exciting. How did your parents meet? They were in the same dorm. And my mother was in the, my mother was a sophomore when my dad was a freshman. They were supposed to be part of some like big brother, big sister, like introducing new students thing or whatever. And my mom was sick. So my dad made her a plate of brownies and oh. put it outside her dorm. And the rest is mystery. Very sweet. Um, I wonder if my mom's watching because she could tell me <laughs> how her and my dad met. Um, I know that they um, went like all through school together. So they knew each Aww. other like in in middle school for sure, because there's a picture of them in seventh grade together in their bell bottoms. And and um, so they never like dated mm -hmm. then. And then um, they kind of reconnected um, in their early 20s. And, wow got married so an extended break they've known each other a, a long time <laughs> That's sweet, though. yes all right what is your favorite piece of random trivia oh geez i don't <laughs> that's a lot to think about that's like all i know i have that answer this it's bothering uh -huh. me that i don't have it prepared no I feel like it's got to be some something with killers. <laughs> For you. Sure. Um, oh, I'm going to think about it as I fall asleep tonight and go. Like, oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I'm why like is what's coming so to... blank right now? <laughs> something like, what's it? Cher has had a number one song in 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, oh. 2000s, 2010s. And like six that. consecutive decades. And like, That's... I think she's like the only artist to do that. 
That's interesting. I feel like I know a lot of like pop music trivia. Yeah, I guess I do too, kind of. The one that comes to mind is I always knew, I always loved Hanson. So I knew that Hanson, they missed the youngest, like to be the youngest youngest member of a band to hit uh-huh. a number one by like five months only to michael jackson and jackson five uh-huh. it was like five months younger than zach hansen when they got their number one so that's a were that one. close <laughs> Some, yeah, so where we're at, the hansen brothers are right now they went somebody's talking about this oh i'm gonna keep thinking about that one though. yeah me too because <laughs> i know me. i have something more interesting um okay what do you think you'll be like in old age? First of all, I remembered one. <laughs> okay. Did you, for example, that Shrek <laughs> won the inaugural it. Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. It was the first film to win Best Animated Feature Film at the okay. Academy Awards. Well, that's interesting. As an Oscar. I don't know if that's super random, though, because it's probably pretty What's well known to question? most people. <laughs> Uh, it says, what do you think you'll be like in old age? Rude. <laughs> Probably. So the same. Cantankerous. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm like, I think I'll be the same. I think we were just talking about this the other day, and I'm like, I'm just going to keep dressing the way I dress and I'm, dyeing my hair pink. and I keep using my retinol. <laughs> Hopefully I won't look too different. Right. I mean, look, aging is a process we all go through, and it's part of life. Yeah, I, I'd i like to think I'll just still be me, so. You will. Who are you going to transform into? I mean, I don't I don't want to change myself because I'm getting older. I kind of look forward still to be fun. <laughs> the, like, time when technology, like, overtakes me, and, like, there's some new piece of technology out there that I don't understand. <laughs> That's like, already happened to me. TikTok. I don't, <laughs> don't do TikTok. Well, so maybe you don't have to wait too long. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> what TV show can you watch over and over and over again? There's a few. Um, let's see. There's a few that I have. Golden Girls. I watch Golden Book. Golden Girls. Yeah. All the time. Good the Wonder Years, I love that one too. And I used to like Saved by the Bell. I've seen those episodes multiple times. For I me, know, it's old shows. Reality TV. Mm-hmm. Like I can watch RuPaul's Drag Race. It doesn't matter if I've seen the season. I rewatch seasons all the time because they're all on streaming, and it's just as fun. And there's stuff you notice. I don't know. It's like for me, reality TV is just as fun to watch a second time, mm-hmm. or like those old VH1 reality shows, like Flavor of Love, Rock oh, of Love. Yeah. I love New York. <laughs> I love rewatching those. Or the like, Real World. I love yeah. the Real World and rewatching it. There's some old Real World Real World episodes on Paramount Plus. Yeah, but not all the seasons, and that drives me nuts because I really wanted to rewatch. That is annoying. <laughs> Let's see. Dogma Ooh. says she's watching. I'm watching The Good Place for the second time. I think it's better the second time. I need time. to finish The Good Place. I watched most of the first season and I really liked it. I forget. Oh, because I moved, I think, oh. in the middle of it. And so I just kind of got discombobulated. But I need to finish that one. I haven't seen that one. It's funny. It's is good. It? Yeah. Nice. Oh, and The Office. I The Office, I never get old. Well, that, good thing you didn't forget. That would have been terrible. <laughs> I was yeah. literally, I watched probably couple of episodes of the office like every week i really like dairy girls on netflix too it's about the either. girls in northern ireland oh, i've nice. watched it probably like four times it's real short and easy nice let's see i'm trying to cheat and read it <laughs> how do you arrange your bookshelf at home organized or random random my bookshelf is definitely random because at work it's so organized that like if I tried to do that at home, I would feel like I'm always at work, number one. Number two, like, I know my collection at home is, like, for browsing, right? Like, I want people to kind of just meander through it. Yeah. So I like my big, unorganized bookshelf because, to me, like, it sparks. Like, I like I can go a long line and be like, oh, that looks good. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. My I have, like, three different bookshelves, and it's all random. Now, my movies have been arranged in different ways different times mm-hmm. i did them by color once 
that was awesome. <laughs> but it was driving me nuts because I couldn't find anything unless I knew what color it was. Right now, my husband and I arrange them by categories. So we have like Christmas and then we have like his childhood favorites, my childhood favorites. Oh, so like personal <laughs> like, categories. Yes. That's kind of fun. So, so we can easily find them. So oh. just, I like to do different things. I might like make one shelf fiction, one shelf nonfiction. I haven't decided yet, though. No commitment to that yet. Yeah, no, my books are completely random. It's usually like as I get a new one, it yeah, just gets that stuck. Part too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Do you like to listen to an album in full, or do you prefer a playlist of different artists? Both for me. Yeah, depends. depends like on the artist. Like, yeah, it depends on the artist. Depends mm -hmm. on the album. Like, if I feel like that the album is like a body of work more than like mm -hmm. a collection of singles. Exactly. Like some albums are very experiential. And then I love Spotify and I always do like, I do like a seasonal playlist. Oh, so yeah. when summer starts, I just make one that says summer 2022. Mm -hmm. Then every song I like that's coming out or that I want to listen to, like I pull mm -hmm. older stuff, newer stuff, I put in that playlist and I have them going back for a few years now. So it's always fun too, because I can be like, oh, what was I listening to in spring of 2019? And I can go back and yeah, it's like very I actually nostalgic. do that exact same thing. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have that exact. It's exact fun. Moment. It is fun. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about that song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, it's cool. But yeah, yeah. definitely like this, my some of my favorite artists, I listen to the whole. Yeah, and I have like a, a really, a, I love my vinyl record collection and that's like a whole different thing too because streaming is one thing but like putting a record on oh yeah and listening to it all the way through while you go about your house doing chores <laughs> right it's a whole other thing <laughs> <laughs> all right would you rather be an expert at one thing or pretty good at many things I feel like I am pretty good at many things. <laughs> and I do feel like I am also an expert at a few things too. I wouldn't want to, I'm pretty good at any, like if I'm choosing between the two, pretty good at many things. Cause yeah. also like, what am I being, what am I an expert? But like, if, like, is it something that's going to make me money? Provide oh, joy? I think it would get boring to be just an expert at one thing. Right. I'd like rather, the, you know, be able to do a bunch of different things. Right. Like, Hmm. I need variety. Yeah, me too. We're so similar. That's, it's turning yeah, out. I guess so. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you consider the ultimate comfort food? For me, it's probably like pizza or pasta, mm -hmm. like Italian food. Cause I, I just ate so much spaghetti growing up and then like pizza's just warm, comforting cheese. It's reliable. It's fast, mm -hmm. low maintenance. There's a variety if you want to add something or take something away. But for me, comfort food, the first thing that comes to my mind is Italian food. Pizza. I would have to go with like cake <laughs> or cookies. Specifically I would pick what kind of cake? Like vanilla white cake with vanilla frosting or cupcakes or cookies like anything sweet cookies I, definitely is a like mm -hmm, chocolate chip like cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Mm, i love cookies my favorite mm -hmm. dessert by far i love any kind of dessert so. yeah so yeah but yeah like fresh baked chocolate Actually, chip cookies yeah, yeah, if we're including desserts and like ice cream, <laughs> ice cream, like a pint with of ben chocolate and chip cookies, <laughs> Ben and Jerry's milk and cookies, ice cream, Ooh. best of both worlds. Mm. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Oh, ooh, I, didn't, I didn't look. I didn't look. <laughs> okay, what book has impacted you the most? I don't know if I have an answer. It's tough. I feel like it my like tough. my life is like a cumulative effect of all these different like mm -hmm. books I've read, movies I've watched, and people I've met. And it's really hard for me to pick like one thing that's been big. yeah. Like I guess yeah. I really like Just Kids by Patti Smith. 
I read that when I was like freshly in New York too, and it was a good time to read that book. So there's things like that where I feel like it's important to read like certain books, you read them at the perfect time. Like, I think I read Perks of Being a Wallflower when I was a sophomore in high school. Like, of course, like I'm sure a lot of people would have that as an answer. So sometimes like it's really like alchemy and the perfect book gets to you at the perfect Mm -hmm. time. And that's just like, those are the times where I think books have been super impactful for me, but yeah, I always take something away from a book. I read, you know, that's yeah. I don't, I remember the, the perks of being a wallflower being one of my favorite books ever. And the giver always really, that's, I read the giver when I was pretty young young yeah me and, I, too. and then i read it again when i was older and it hit different it freaked but, me out as a kid and i never wanted to go back to it ever since then oh i it's that, that's probably the one the giver, the giver. Mm-hmm. that's a good answer so yeah it's even yeah i could read it again and probably get something else out of it today because there's there's a lot in there yeah, that's why I don't reread Harry Potter because it was really impactful on me as a kid. And I'm worried if I reread it as an adult, I wouldn't like it as it would much. Change it. Right. Yeah. It's like a constant. It's, I know people who reread the series and they say that, that it won't happen, it won't happen, but I'm not so sure. Yeah. I would go go with that because, yeah, I don't, like why, I don't want to like, ruin it. <laughs> right. Like, I remember what happened. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what is the best museum you've ever been to? Mm. I'm sure you've been to way cooler ones than me. <laughs> well, that's flattering. I did used to live 15 minutes away from the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and I'd walk there all the time because it was for, it was free admission. So that was awesome. But my favorite is probably a tie between the Pompidou in Paris, which is the if you don't know what the building looks like, it's the weirdest looking building. Like mm. all the stuff is like it looks like it's like if you took the tiles off of a ceiling and saw the things oh. in the ceiling. But like that on the outside of the building and it's in rainbow colors oh, wow. and you have to take like an escalator to get in the whole thing feels like a willy wonka experience and it's wow. like p-o-m-p-i-d-o-u is how you spell it hopefully i'm pronouncing it correctly and then i really like the prado in spain in madrid like mm. i had no expectations going in there and it was an awesome museum nice i i don't know i've been to is it the Art Institute in Chicago? That one's great that too. One's cool. And I, the one yeah. that I, I've been to multiple times is the Nelson Atkins in Kansas City, and it's actually really cool. Is that the one with the um, what the, the shuttle co- with the in the front? Yeah, the back. I think that yeah. I went there a long, long time ago, and I need to go back. It's really like cool. I want to go there so badly. Yeah, I I really like that one. They have a lot of Egyptian stuff in there, oh, which cool. I think is really cool. So. Yeah. There's awesome. definitely some more museums I'd like to go to. Yeah, so. I love that. Um, I mean, I love like our art museum here. Mm-hmm. It's great. And mm-hmm. the public museum's great as well. They're both free too. So sometimes yeah. I just wander in and it's like when a museum's free, there's not as much pressure to see everything in it. So now when I go to the public museum, I kind of just find one exhibit I really want to focus on. And I really yeah. want to go see the quilts they have up. My oh, sister yeah. saw them and said they were really, really cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Oh, your oh, turn. It's my turn. Okay. Which film would you like to see turned into a musical? I had an answer for that the other day. I actually had this thought on my own. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I even thought, I was like, nobody's done this yet. Why has nobody done this yet? I should do this and make a million dollars. Oh, I'm horrified. It's so obvious that it should be a musical. I don't know. Oh, this is killing me. (laughs) If I think of it anytime during this week, I will come back to this video and leave it in a comment. Yeah. Because I had, it was such a good idea. It's an idea that I, it's like almost good enough. I don't want to say it in case stolen. (laughs) You don't get the credit. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Is there anything else you can think of? I'm trying to think and I'm like, I wonder, I don't know. I haven't kept up on musicals, so maybe some of the ones I think should be have already been. Has Pee Wee's Big Adventure been made into a musical yet? No, that'd be fun. That would be a fun one. This is really bothering me because I just had a whole (laughs) conversation with myself about this this week. Oh my gosh, and I remember it being something 
where it's like somebody's life and I'd probably have to edit the movie down a little bit for the sake of the musical. I will think of it <laughs> and it will be posted in a comment on this video when I think of it. I don't care if it's a year from now. Hopefully it'll be before we end. Oh yeah, that'd Just... be great. <laughs> Ooh, that's bothering me. And I know I just watched this movie like within the last week. Is I, it like, a new just, movie or mm, an old movie? It's like since between like late 80s and now. Mm, and I feel like it has like a built in like campy factor mm. and like songs that could already fit really well. Oh, okay. We have to move I probably on. I have but... seen it. <laughs> Other than librarian, smiley face, what is your dream job? Um, well, I always wanted to be a fashion designer mm. or like a stylist or something like That'd that. Be cool. So I think like librarians and stylists, like you probably have like, cause you have to have a knowledge of like archives and like be able to pull things quickly. Yeah. But I think there's transferable skills there. And like there. reader's advisory is kind of like, you know, yeah. picking book stylists. people, right? What, in, <laughs> in New York, we always joke and call ourselves, um, literary influencers. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Other than librarian, what is my dream job? Um, I don't know. I used to always want to be like a screenwriter, like in the writing room on a TV show or something like that. That'd I think would be fun. That would be fun. Okay. What book are you currently reading and are you enjoying it so far? I'm reading so many books at once right now. Um, but the one I'm reading Howard's End by Ian Forster, and I usually don't read a whole lot of like Brit lit and I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. It's like, it's more fast paced because I'm listening to it as an audiobook than I probably would be if I was reading it. Um, what else am I reading? You answer while I look at my books I'm reading. I just started reading Night Crawling by... I think it's like Lee, Layla. Oh, Lila. I like the coat. It's the it's orange, orange and like purple. A, yeah. yeah. And it's an Oprah book club book, I believe. But I'm only like 30 pages in. So far it's, um, so far it's catching me. Um, I just finished reading Half Blown Rose by Lisa Cross Smith. And everybody knows I'm like obsessed with yeah. Lisa Cross Smith. <laughs> and That's and one with a really cool cover too. It's really cool. Well, yeah. And it takes place in Paris, I think. Yeah, I know. I, her about. books are just magical to me. So um, I loved that one. So I'll see. Of course, the titles that like I'm on hold for loaded right away. The ones I just returned are the ones that aren't loading. loading. And I should be able to remember the books I just read, right? I know I just read one called Feminist City. That was really interesting. I forget the author's name for that one. And I just started Cujo by Stephen King because I, I don't, oh. I've not read that much Stephen King and I kind of wanted yeah, something right. spooky. So I had I, no verdict yet. I can go either way with Stephen King. So we'll see if I like it. Interesting. All right. What is your favorite guilty pleasure TV show? I don't feel guilty about my pleasures. 90 so. Day Fiance. I'm pretty sure I've talked about that before. Oh, we do talk about 90 Day. <laughs> I am so far behind on 90 Day Fiance, but mm. like, it's great. It it's it's great. It's awful, but <laughs> it's, it's great. It's terrible, but I know I've said before, like I've actually learned a lot. Yeah. About the immigration process, right. and different cultures, and the world. And, yeah, different places. So. 90 Day is definitely up there. <laughs> Um, my, oh, and my mom says Big Brother, which ooh. I am also watching, which I, I watch I always every year. <laughs> thought that Big Brother would be kind of fun to be on. Not like, I mean, I don't know how those people like keep other jobs. I don't right. Like you, but <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I, I've been re watching the high school musical movies, which oh, nice. they're like, they're so corny, but they're fun because they came out when I was the right age. I think it was a little past. But they're fun nice all right ready yeah what is the weirdest thing in your fridge right now <laughs> three empty bottles of honey mustard three empty bottles mm -hmm. <laughs> is there a purpose nope <laughs> 
I I I don't eat anything weird, so I'm trying to think. The weird thing is that there's nothing weird. Yeah, there is. I don't even know if I want to admit this, but um, in my freezer is a piece of frozen wedding cake from my wedding, oh. <laughs> which was over four years ago. That's cute. <laughs> we can't get rid of it. <laughs> Do you know, I think it was a couple of years ago, they auctioned, <laughs> they auctioned off a piece of Princess Di's wedding cake that had been frozen. Really? Like you could buy a piece of Princess Diana's wedding cake yeah. just in the last few years. No, that's what, at, you're supposed to eat it like at your first anniversary. Uh -huh. It's like tradition, but neither one of my husband and I were both like, I don't want to eat cake that's been frozen that for a year so it's just stayed there because we don't really want to get rid she of get it, it like pressed like a pressed flower in between <laughs> glass uh my mom said night crawlers are in her fridge why do you have worms in your refrigerator i mean i know why it's for fishing <laughs> no thanks no <laughs> i was just talking about fear factor with someone today and how we used to watch people eat worms oh on TV god fear. no that's actually probably a guilty pleasure TV show, Fear Factor. <laughs> what was your first job? <laughs> I was a library page. So was like, like here. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, I did a brief stint at High Bee for a month, but then I got the library job, which working for the library was a better fit for me. And so I, left. I also did some stuff at our church. I would like set up for parties and stuff which meant that as like a 15 year old, I was alone in like the event space oh, nice. until like three, four in the morning cleaning. Nice. It was kind of spooky. Oh, I bet. But a job's a yeah. job. I guess technically my first job was my aunt and uncle run the lamb theater. So as a, I think I was 12, um, I, did waitressing for like the dinner theater. Oh, that's cool. Yep. So I did that for a while and then I got my first real job here at the library. Nice. I've been here they were just uh, the grand marshals of the parade, mm -hmm. right? They were. Yes. Cool. I can't wait till I get that new theater. It's going to be awesome. Yes, it sure is. Okay. Which celeb would you want as your BFF and why? Um, Rihanna. Mm -hmm. I would love to be good friends with Brianna. The vacations, oh, just like yeah, her energy is like aspirational to me. And um, from what I see on Instagram, she's had the same friends for a while, so she seems like you know loyal to her friends. And um, the whole like nice. mm, billionaire part doesn't hurt. <laughs> right. <laughs> But she also just seems really fun and um, like we'd get along, hopefully. Yeah, yeah I can so, see that. So, Rihanna, for sure. Hmm. Well, the I Hanson Brothers. Know. The Hanson Brothers. <laughs> they all three count as one. A BFF, though. I don't know. Maybe Lady Gaga? She seems fun. Oh, yeah. I think I would cry if I met her though. And I wouldn't cry if I met her. Like I wouldn't want to cry oh, in front yeah. of Brianna, but yeah, if I, I met that. Lady Gaga, I'd be like crying and like confessing things to her. I'd be like, I would want her to be like my aunt <laughs> who I can like go spend weekends with. <laughs> yeah. Or like my, like, I don't know, my like guru. I love nice. her. Yeah. She was my first concert. I think I said that in the last question. Really? Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. I can't. Think well, you can be friends with Gaga. I'll be friends with Rihanna, and we can all there hang out together. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever kept a New Year's resolution? Yeah, I once made a resolution to drink more water, and ever since then, I've drank more water. I think it's if you set the bar low. Yeah. <laughs> you can like you know fulfill yep. those expectations, or just don't make resolutions. That's yeah. That's what I don't. I don't make resolutions. I'm more into making them like for me. A new year for me is my birthday. Because mm. like, right? You know what I mean. New age, right? Just, like, so I'm more about resolutions when like birthdays mm -hmm. come around. And to me, like, I don't even call them resolutions. It's like change. Like I don't know. Yeah. But new year, like on the stroke of New Year's, January first, I'm usually preoccupied with. Yeah, other things. I I guess sort of towards the beginning of the year, I'll make like a 
intentions list. Yeah. That'll be kind of like, read more books, shop less. <laughs> like, You're good at one of those. <laughs> to do better, basically. Yeah. But I don't know. But do not better. anything like concrete. You know right. what I mean? Like, no, like I'm going to go to the gym five days a week or something. Set That's realistic like goals. Right. Realistic. Yeah. I think you get the last question. I guess so. <laughs> First of all, we did get a comment. Ooh. My mom said yes, Lady Gaga. I think she'd like that. Okay. Should a hot dog in a hot dog bun be considered a sandwich or not? No. No, a hot dog is it's a, a hot sausage, dog. if anything. <laughs> Hot dogs are. I don't like hot dogs. We talked. We, about, we actually. We actually were just that. talking about this. Before, coincidentally. Yeah. I am not a fan. I like I, bratwurst. I like Italian sausage. Nope. See, I won't eat any of that. But I'll eat. I'll eat hot dogs, if they're certain kinds and if they're grilled and in a bun. But. So what about a hot dog and bread? <laughs> Do you ever have to eat a hot dog with bread? Like, have you ever been to the drive through restaurant Broncos in Omaha? Mm -hmm. I used to go there as a kid. And Broncos, I don't know if they still do it, but they would serve their hot dogs like sliced in half. Oh, a long I way, couldn't do that. Put down <laughs> on bread. Nope. Chaos. Hot, the that's most chaotic a hot dog way. sandwich. No, that's a hot dog sandwich. I could do that. But the standard way of serving a hot dog is just a hot dog. No. No. It's not like a hoagie. You can't get a hot dog at Subway. And I think, like, even a burger is different than a sandwich. I was going to say, yeah, no. Nope. Two pieces of bread a sandwich does not make. No, I wouldn't eat a hot dog and bread. Anyway. Ooh. The movie Bingo made you... The movie Bingo made me paranoid of hot dogs. Oh, no. Well, I've not seen Bingo. What dark-sided thing happens in Bingo? I, I can only know. imagine. Well, we'll be Googling that after this episode to see what happens. I'm just wary of hot dogs anyway. Something about the mm. texture. Like, people always talk about how they love the snap when you bite into a hot dog. I don't. Um, no. Nope. And I'm not a very, I'm not, a, I'm not a big eater. I eat a lot of things, but hot dogs and peas, I'm not a big fan of. Um, I will eat both of those, but not many other things. So. Well, <laughs> you can have my scraps. <laughs> you can bring me your hot dogs and peas. <laughs> All right. Well, all right. thanks, Lacey, for all these questions. It's it's always fun answering these. If you're watching this later, please feel free to leave your answers in the in the comments below. I think anybody watching will figure out what question you're answering. Um, it's if you a, think of your musical. Oh we'll yeah. Get it commented. Ooh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go look at my watch history because I know it was a good idea, and I'll get back to y'all on that. Um, but in the meantime. I, I think Lacey's gone next week too. It's gonna yes, be you and me. Yes, it's a new month, so we have new books. Ooh, I think I just saw favorite. new books arriving mm -hmm. today too. I'm excited about There's a that. Bunch of boxes yeah, I know we so. just ordered a ton. Cool. So join us at the same time next Thursday, and we'll show off some of the new books that you can check out here at the library. Until yeah. then, keep reading, Sioux City. We'll see you later.